Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be discussing the top Pokemon fan games on Roblox right now. So let's get into it. So before we get into it today I kind of want to go over what games are going to be in it and what games are not going to be in it. So Roblox Pokemon Brick Bronze and Roblox Pokemon Fighters copies are not going to be in it because I feel like that would be very disrespectful to the creators and also I don't play any, so we're going to kind of disregard those. And two, all of these are my own opinion, so if you don't agree with me, let me know in the comments below. I'm very open to criticism. But that out of the way, let's get to number five. So number five is a game you probably have no clue what it is, and that is Bloxymon coming in at number five. So, this game actually used to be very popular, like I am not joking, this game popped off when it came out. Everyone was playing it, everyone was excited. I think at one point it was gaining like 10,000 players a day, and that was insane. And the developers were not really known for Pokemon games that I know of. I, I could be very wrong, but they weren't really known for that. However. This game took a sharp decline pretty quickly after release, and sadly, not many people continued playing after that. I think nowadays it gains less than 100 people a day, and that's kind of sad, but personally, I never truly enjoyed the game a ton, but I would not say it's a terrible game. None of these games on this list are truly terrible, however, I think Bloxymon comes in at number 5. So. Let's now move on to number four. At number four, it pains me. It pains me to say it. But sadly, that is Monsters of Etheria. Now, this game is insanely fun. I am not going to lie. I love this game so much to bits and pieces. I play it, but not as much as these other games. I would not say they are bad this like game is actually pretty cool however I only really see myself playing it whenever I'm with friends and whenever I'm doing kind of like you know hide and seek and stuff I don't really play it like on like continuously I can't really find a grip on the game to keep playing it however the game is not bad and I do want to give it the number four spot definitely above Bloxymon but let's now move on to number three At number three, we have a brand new game, and honestly, I I don't I don't play it a ton. I'm not gonna lie. However, I definitely think it is one of the games on here that has the most potential, and that is kind of like Kingdom, brand new game, and it honestly takes a really cool spin on Roblox Pokemon fan games. It has all the encounters overworld. This makes an Nuzlocke for it extremely difficult but very fun, and that is kind of my favorite type of run to do of it. And all the kind of like designs are pretty cool so far, though it only has 20, which definitely <laughs> it makes it so I cannot rank it over these top two, because these top two are heavy hitters. These are insane games for Roblox Pokemon fan games. However, this game definitely does not disappoint. I totally recommend checking this game out specifically and giving the creators some love and appreciation because they have worked hard on this. And I think it definitely deserves the number three spot. But now, let's move on to number two, which surprised even me. At number five, we have a drop from what I used to think, and that is Lumi Legacy is now at number two. And that startles me to my core. I honestly didn't think anything could have beaten Lumi and Legacy, but... In the recent upcoming in the recent years, there has not been enough updates for me to continue playing this as consistently as this top game. And while I don't play this top game as much, whenever I come back to it, I always have the best time. However, Lumion Legacy definitely deserves number two above every other game. It is very well modeled, well designed, it is thoroughly fleshed out. Everything in it it has great lore, it has great story, it has great comedy, April Fool's Day, favorite event in the game. No offense to many of the other events, I think it's my favorite at least. 
but I definitely think that it has dropped down below the number one spot, which is just crazy because this number one game has surpassed all my expectations. So let's get into it. Now, if Lumion Legacy was a number one, then you all know what number one is most likely, and that is Doodle World, which has severely moved up from when it first came out. For when it first came out, I definitely thought it was a great game. I never disliked it, and I did a Nuzlocke, and that did. Oh my god, that did so well for my channel, and honestly brought a lot of Pokemon fans onto my channel in the first place. But, I definitely believe that Doodle World has moved up on my list ever since it came out. I don't play it as much. I'm not gonna lie. I play Lumion Legacy a ton more. However, it's so much easier to play free to play. And that is why I love. I can restart this game over and over and over and over and over and over. And I never get bored. Like, I... Lumion Legacy I've gotten bored of, but like, Doodle World, I can restart. I might find a misprint as an encounter. That's just crazy. And I just can do insanely so many Nuzlocks. I started a Wonderlock. I can do the Roulette Lock. I can do. I have billions of others' ideas of Nuzlocks. And honestly, the game has never steered me wrong. And I've enjoyed it for every single moment I've played it. I don't know what it is about the game, but. The developers have done a very good job, and please, uh, if you're if you're watching, uh, wishes or any of the developers, guide me in the game. <laughs> uh, that, that's a joke. They probably have much more s severe stuff like that they have to do, but they have done a fantastic job on their game, and I really want to congratulate them. And that kind of ends the video. There is a new game coming out this year that probably will go all the way to spot one, and that is Tales of Tenoria. That's at least in my opinion. However, I I don't know. I think Doodle World has a chance, and I think Lumion Legacy definitely still has a chance to stay at number one. I'm excited to see how Tales of Tenoria does. But in all honesty, I think it's going to crush every other game that's already a Roblox Pokemon fan game. But, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. Do that if you want to. Why not? Yeah, very weird voices. <laughs> but, I really hope this helped all of you and kind of steered you away from the copies of Roblox Pokemon fan games like Brick Bronze and Project Pokemon and steered you towards some of the more legal opportunities of the games. So, Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone!